Hello and welcome to the Underground Game Design course. Today I'm going to be looking at some of the differences between the Unreal Development Kit and Unreal Tournament 3. Now you'll notice that we're using the um, Unreal Development Kit or UDK uh, as the basis of all of our projects. Uh, so what reason um, do we have for using UDK over the editor that comes um, standard with Unreal Tournament 3? All right, here we have the uh, Unreal Development Kit. Um, you should all be getting slightly familiar with this uh, with this uh, particular interface. So um, let's have a look at the uh, Unreal Editor for the Unreal Tournament 3 engine. Now, yes, the, this is actually a different program to the to the one that you were looking at before, but. Um, just from a, a cursory glance, you can see that um, the uh, the actual interface is very similar. Uh, in fact, uh, at first glance, it m might even look identical. There are some small differences. Uh, the order of the buttons above the viewport, the number of buttons over here in the toolbox and along the toolbar at the top. But for the most part, uh, these buttons do the same thing, they have the same functionality in both programs. So the question is, why would you choose UDK over Unreal Tournament 3? Well, uh, one of the main differences between UDK and UT3, uh, at least from a poor and underprivileged student's point of view, is that uh, UDK is free. Now, um, Unreal Tournament is um, it does cost money, but it doesn't cost as much money as it used to. In fact, now you can go into a uh, game store of your choice and uh, pick up a copy for, uh, in some cases, as little as $30. You can get it um, from, uh, well, I'm not sure if you still can, but you used to be able to get it off Steam uh, and um, play a downloadable copy. Uh, for a very small amount of money, some sometimes sort of thirty, uh, twenty dollars, um, so the difference might not seem that large uh, between being free and being worth um, a small amount of money. But it is a uh, a big point when you consider that um, not only is it free for you to use, it is also free for anybody who wishes to download your mod who wishes to um, uh, run your game on their system, they don't have to pay the extra money for Unreal Tournament 3. They can simply download it from uh, your website. Uh, if you are going to make money from anything that is uh, created with the UDK, you will have to pay a licensing fee for the copy of UDK, um, which is very small. It's something like $100. Um, and uh, you'll also have to pay a commission on any profits which are over a certain amount of money. Uh, but for the most part, if you just wanted to develop games for uh, the experience and to get a, a name in the industry, um, it's completely and totally free. And it's free to you. It's also free to anybody who wants to try out or test your game. So with this in mind, um, why would you want to uh, use Unreal Tournament 3 instead of the UDK? Well, one particular reason is it's a complete game. The UDK has a demo version of Unreal Tournament 3 uh, included as part of its package, but um, Unreal Tournament 3 has, well, all of Unreal Tournament 3 included in the, uh, the game that you pick up from the game store. Alright, to uh, show you some of the things that um, you'll get if you use UT3 that you might miss out on using UDK, I'm just going to um, open up a level... Um, I'll go for this one. This is just a, a simple test area that I've been trying out some Kismet stuff in, but I'll, uh, I'll just play from here. And now the uh, the first thing that you'll notice um, is that I have this this new gun. Uh, this gun you probably um, 
wouldn't have seen before if you've only been using the UDK and that is because this is the default firearm that um, is given to you when you start a game of Unreal Tournament 3 and it's called the Enforcer. Now um, as well as this you can, if I type in the cheat here, get a number of different weapons that you don't have in UDK. Uh, you have this melee weapon which is the impact hammer, the enforcer, the bio rifle which fires goop, um, the shotgun, link gun, stinger minigun and rocket launcher you will probably be familiar with. Uh, flat cannon, which is probably my favourite gun in the game, um, doesn't actually um, ship with UDK. And uh, of course there are things like a sniper rifle and um, the signature item of Unreal Tournament, um, of the Unreal Tournament series, which is the Redeemer. Now, um, you don't have any of those, those weapons apart from the ones that I mentioned come with UDK. So um, is that all that, you, all, all that you would get Unreal Tournament 3 for, is just so that you have a larger selection of weapons? Well, um, there's more to it than that, because not only um, do you have access to those weapons right from the start, you also have access to the code for those weapons. So say you wanted to uh, create a gun that uses the, um, the projectile of the bio rifle or uses that sort of functionality. Uh, perhaps instead of causing damage, you want a bio rifle that fires blue goop instead of green goop and, uh, and it freezes uh, players when they touch it. Um, well, if you were going to do that in UDK, you'd have to find all the code from that in UT3. You'd have to port it across. You'd have to get it to, to work. And then you would have to um, uh, include new models and, um, uh, and various things that uh, don't come with UDK. With UT3, all you'd really need to do is uh, write the code for how you want the player to freeze, change the color of the goop, maybe change the color on the skin on the rifle, and you're good to go. So um, there is a lot more of a complete basis um, if you want to um, create a game type which is using aspects or using things that uh, you would like to base off of original UT3 functionality.